The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today as we prepare for this coming Sunday, the sixth Sunday of Easter, which is this year is May the 9th. Um, we're meditating upon the lessons today, the gospel lesson. Uh, the theme that ties the three lessons together for this coming Sunday is the Lord Jesus is with his church in the apostolic ministry of the gospel. Again, the Lord Jesus Christ is with his church in the apostolic ministry of the gospel. Let us begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord from the Gospel of St. John, the 15th chapter, verses 9 through 17. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I have commanded you, so that you will love one another. The Meditation and Prayer from the Lutheran Study Bible Christ is the true vine, and his disciples are the branches vitally connected to him and spontaneously bearing fruit under his purifying care. Christians must love one another as friends, not regard one another as enemies. By grace, God has dwelt among us in his Son and has joined us together in a fellowship of self-giving love. We pray. Hear the prayers of your faithful people, O Father, who desire to do your will. Dear Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>